Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you, and possibly your mama too. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Bracketology of Coffee. This is Season 4, Round 4. This season, we're doing a state-to-state -state competition where the roasters will be representing the state they're located in. Let me introduce today's competitors. First off, we have Paramount Coffee Roasters. They are located in my home state of Michigan. This coffee is their 100% Colombian. Origin is obviously Colombia. This 12 ounce bag goes for $10.99. It's a medium roast and they ranked number three in my brackets. Going up against New England Coffee. They're based in Massachusetts and they were founded in 1916. This is their donut shop blend. The origin is unknown. This 11 ounce bag goes for $3.83. This is their lightest roast yet, and they rank number six in my brackets. Let me tell you how this competition works. I prepare the coffees in a French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. The competition consists of two halves. The first half, I drink the coffees black, fresh out of the French press, and in the second half, I add some cream. I score each round out of 100, allowing for a maximum possible score of 200 points. Let me get these coffees brewing and I'll be right back. All right, I steeped the coffee for four minutes. I'm just letting it cool off for a little bit so I can taste it better few quick side notes as you can see I'm coming to you from my pop-up camper today I'm in central Louisiana at the hidden treasure RV resort I'm actually leaving tomorrow to head over to Gulf Shores Alabama I'm gonna be there for an entire month super excited about that also 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster I am NOT a super taster I consider myself an average taster what I look for in coffee is drinkability Something that is smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. And I have some super exciting news for today's show. My assistant, Isabel, is back. So because I'm not a super taster, I often struggle to decipher the flavors during the first half of the competition. So I hired Isabel. She's my smoking hot assistant. She's actually an elite super taster. And she's actually considered by many to be the best in the w entire world. So we're very lucky to have her. She won't be scoring the coffee, but instead she's going to mentor me in ways to better describe the aromas and flavors of the coffee. So this will be very fun. Today I've connected with her via telephone. So let's uh, check in with her and see what's going on. Hey Isabel, how you doing today? Hello, Jason. Thank you so much for having me back on your show today. Well, as you know, hotties are always welcome on my show. Why don't you go ahead and give me your opinion of the Colombian coffee from Paramount? This one here is what she'll be tasting. Hmm. That smells delicious. The aroma seems to be that of a stinky barnyard. Let me give it a taste. Ooh, I really like it. 
What an elegant coffee. It's both full-bodied and oaky, which I really love. I'm tasting a bouquet of flavors reminiscent of lavender, black mold, and a dirty diaper. <laughs> Isabel, is that what you're really tasting or are you just messing with me? Let me give it a try. So this, uh, I'm excited to try this uh, for a couple of reasons. First off, I'm from Michigan and uh, Paramount is located in Lansing, Michigan. And I used to own a coffee shop and they were the company that roasted all of our coffee beans. So let me go ahead and give this a taste. The way it works is I taste it twice. First taste, um, I just want to give it, get an overview. And on the second taste, I'll give them a score. That's really good. Very flavorful, very good aftertaste. Roasted to perfection, which is exactly what I would expect, expect out of them. Both of these coffees, coffees smell so good fresh out of the bag, so I'm excited to, to taste both of them. So let's check back in with Isabel. So we're gonna have her taste this New England coffee now, their donut shop blend. All right, Isabel, now for the New England Donut Shop Blend. What do you think about that one? Hmm, that smells delicious. The aroma seems to be that of a monkey. <laughs> Let me give it a taste. Ooh, I really like it. What a gorgeous coffee. It's both sweet and earthy, which I really love. I'm tasting a fusion of flavors reminiscent of onions, bad breath, and dead fish. <laughs> well, maybe something is being lost in translation. Let me give it a try. This is our donut shop blend, and they are based in Massachusetts. So they claim that this is their lightest roast yet, and I love light roasts, so that's really delicious. In my opinion, the lighter roasts have way more flavor, way more flavor. So I really like that one as well, and for such an inexpensive coffee, I didn't know what to expect, but let's check back in with Isabel really quick. Well, Isabel, needless to say, I don't think I'll be needing your assistance during the second half of this competition. Uh, what do you mean? I very much love both of these coffees. Would you like me to taste them one more time? I don't think so, but I might need your help next week in the fifth round of the brackets. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and get a score now on this Paramount coffee. The 100% Colombian. That's so good, I gotta tell you a short story. I went to a wedding way back in the day in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and uh, I asked one of the servers what kind of coffee they were brewing because it was so good. And he said it was Colombian coffee, so I've kind of had a place in my heart for Colombian coffee ever since. And I have had multiple Colombian coffees come through my brackets here. And it's really hard for me to pick up on that Colombian flavor that I tasted at that wedding. 
and this is probably the first Colombian coffee that tastes like that Colombian coffee that I had at the wedding. Really, really delicious. I still have the flavor on my tongue even as we speak. Um, yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a 93 in the first round, first half. Now let's get a score on this donut shop blend from New England Coffee. They're representing Massachusetts today. That one's actually delicious as well. Um, so I bought this on Amazon, had it shipped to the campground that I was staying at, and for some reason that campground didn't get anything from the post office, so it got returned back to Amazon. So I bought it a second time and had it delivered to this campground, and when I bought it the second time, it was actually a little bit cheaper. It went from like 380 a bag down to like 360 a bag or something along those lines. So I don't know why the price fell because this is actually really delicious. And I love these old school roasters that have been around for like 100 years, 100 plus years. Um, you know what? I'm struggling uh, to give them an exact number. I really did like it. I'm going to give them a 92 in the first half. I was debating between 91 and 92, but the flavor, all the flavors were just right on point. So let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to add a little bit of cream, and we will be right back for the second half of this competition. Thanks for watching. Alright, I've added a splash of cream to both of these coffees, and um, this works the same way. I'm going to taste it twice. First taste, I'm getting an overview, and in the second taste, I'll give them a score. Let's start out with this Colombian coffee from Paramount, and they're representing, representing Michigan today. So good. The half and half just, I've, I've, I think I said this in my last video, it probably multiplies the flavor maybe tenfold. So good. I can pick out the distinct flavors. That's really good. So let's get an overview on this donut shop blend from New England Coffee. Yeah, still tastes very good. It just hasn't been amplified quite to the level of what the Colombian coffee was. Um, but second taste might be different. So let me get a second taste and a score on this Colombian coffee from Paramount. It's very good. I love that that Colombian coffee with a splash of cream. I'm going to give them a 96 in the second half. Now let's get a score on this donut shop blend from New England Coffee. Yeah, super good, super drinkable. The flavors just didn't step up their game quite as much as, as the Paramount Coffee did, but let's give them a 94 in the second half. Unbelievable score for a 
bag of coffee that costs less than four dollars it's really a diamond in the rough right there but give me a second to tally these scores and we will be back for the results of this round four competition don't go anywhere Determine a winner in this round four competition. First up, we had the 100% Colombian coffee from Paramount. They are representing Michigan in this competition. They scored a 93 in the first half, 96 in the second half, for a total of 189. And I definitely recommend this coffee. Delicious, especially if you love Colombian coffee. They went up against the Donut Shop Blend from New England Coffee, founded in 1916. They scored a 92 in the first half, 94 in the second half, for a total of 186. I actually highly recommend this, especially if you love trying new coffees, especially fairly priced coffees. This is a diamond in the rough, I'm telling you, you can thank me later. And uh, I forgot to mention they represent Massachusetts in this competition. But our season four, round four winner is Paramount Coffee Roasters based in Lansing, Michigan. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.